is exciting to have you join us on Creativity at its best, revealed on Art House. A warm welcome. I'm Melinda Akinlami. On the program this week... We get a double delight by this artist at the Paces Gallery in Lagos. Then in another part of the commercial city, this performance is linking culture and showing the beauty of tradition. That and more when we return in a moment. Join us again. Our wordsmith for this week is titled My Nigeria by Favor Chukwemeka, while the work of art is done by Harry King. On that day, the skies turned grey and mauve and dark, and then a variety of uncertain colours. The elements stood in solidarity for a generation which resolved to stand up as one man. In that poise lay no face, name, nor divide, but a common yearning for a common good. On that day, the elements gazed down at us with tears, joy, and pride. We will not forget the labor of today's heroes like it never happened. Face the Nation is a two-in-one show by Zimbabwean-born artists which involves a performance and an exhibition that captures the issue of movement, survival and identity at the Paces Gallery in Lagos. Zimbabwean artist Option Yahunzvi is the first beneficiary of an immersive cultural exchange and residency program which began in August. This exhibition, titled Face the Nation, is the outcome of that experience at the Paces Gallery as it begins such initiatives with support from Yawoa Foundation. Option has been with us since August for the past two months for our art residency program. Um, we worked with the Yawa Foundation to bring Option here for a cultural exchange and for him to just come here, experience Lagos, experience Nigeria, its people, its environment, and then create a body of work. And um, yeah, we've been working on this for, for a couple of weeks now and this is the product of him being here and, and his inspiration. First Nation, it's, um, it's just like um, uh, a direct uh, statement that means like being present around a certain environment or a certain situation, then trying to see how yourself could, how could you find yourself around there, uh, especially spiritual being of yourself, uh, where you're coming from, also the energies around the space as well. So yeah, it's just an exploration of trying to merge this two energies in one space. Before moving into new media, the Harare-born artist originally studied print design with exhibitions and residences both locally and internationally. I 
basically use canvas and paper. Um, um, then I mesh them together and then I use acrylics and oils, drawing ink, sometimes I experiment with medias like coffee, you know, just to explore the ability. So yeah, that's how basically I produce my work. So it's just like printing and, and, and painting techniques being collaborated together and explore these human faces and figures on that one canvas. In creating his thought-provoking images, the artist inserts the zebra print as a celebration of his roots, asserting the importance of traditional storytelling and mythology from a contemporary point of view. Option's work is deeply spiritual. I see that in his collection of work, he's talking about human beings, nature, animals and is inspired by his spiritual experience that is brought out of Zimbabwe. I saw some of the works before the uh, exhibition but now that I'm seeing them here I get a sense of calmness and um, you know connection with just living beings. For the artist, the process of making the work a technique of building up acrylic and paper collage, then peeling away and etching into the surface is in itself a healing process. Later that evening, he goes further than the pictures by putting up this performance. Well, the option, you know, is a young, he is a creative, he's a very exciting um, artist. One of the things I love about his work is the energy there's a lot of raw energy. Most people, I find, were affected in one way or the other. Some people might be affected in a peculiar way, but it's beautiful that they are affected, and that's what art should do. It should affect the people who are appreciating it or are viewing it. So, I mean, I find that his work is very, very colorful. I find it's a lot, there's a lot of detail, lots of intricate detail, a lot of work. And to think that he, within a very short period of time, did this, put all this together within, I'd say, a period of a month, I was told. I mean, that takes a lot of work. The, the message that I, I always want to send around is um, a reminder of, of where we are as, as Africans, as where we come from, our identity. That's why you see, uh, partly most in the work, you see the zebra line that marks my, my, my identity. That's my totem. Um, uh, it's, 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 it's a trace of my ancestral bloodline. So yeah, that's, that's the message, that's the emphasis that I always trying to bring. Like, we need to really know where we come from. So we need to, so that we'll be able to, to go where we want to go in, in life. For Pace's gallery, 
its Novel Artist Residency Program makes accommodation and studio space available to the artists for the period of production, giving them the much needed time and space for reflection, research, experimentation and production of new works of art. Well done. Talk about a bundle of talent. And there's more where that came from, but that'll be when Art House returns from your works of art to another performance. Do stay with us. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. This digital art done by Ugo is called the Divine Passion of the Egyptian Child. Then who am I? That's the question Sam Olumide is asking with this oil and canvas piece. Beauty is a mixed media work by Taiwo Joshua. Then Men Searching is an acrylic and newsprint on canvas work by Zubal Ismail. Florida is appreciating nature with this mixed media work. Then other Jerome has this oil on canvas piece called Son of the Soil. This landscape painting called A Music of Sight is done by Imaxi Art. Bini Art has this digital art piece titled Confidence. Then we wrap things up with a royal dance done with plastic on canvas by Raji David. And that concludes the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you always for sending them in and encourage you to keep them coming. Experimentation is the unparalleled freedom of whatever comes to the mind of a creative in the use of ideas and materials. The audience gets a chance to enjoy the beauty of culture and tradition as put together by Wanda at the Muson Center in Lagos.
has given rise to rattling rats. It's a project that intends to connect cultures through food, entertainment, and information, which forms part of the authentic celebrations of different traditions and varied art forms, in an initiative summed up as Wanda. Wanda means we are not so different after all. This is a celebration of our diversity. It is a celebration of our culture. It's a celebration of our people and our delicacies. It is our desire to take you on the journey of the luxurious empire of Benin. My name is Aisha Samishitsu. I am your host. Come. Dance. So the trip begins displaying the rich tradition of the Benin people in Edo State. If you do not understand other cultures, you are not able to respect cultures. And here at Wanda, we're saying that um, even though you might be Igbo, I might be Yoruba, we are one. Uh, it promotes one Nigeria. I'm Aisha Sonishitu. This is Edo State. I am from Ogun State. Even though my mom is from Edo State, but originally I'm from Ogun State. And I'm here celebrating my mom's culture. The idea is to attract an audience with a penchant for adventurous taste buds to savor and enjoy this experience. Interesting dance steps, songs, and costumes show pomp and ceremony. For this team, the uniqueness of the country's diversity is something to celebrate, unite rather than divide an otherwise creative people. It promotes One Nigeria. It's an opportunity for us to celebrate our culture, to be reminded of who we are originally. Abolish that law for My mother 
power is not because I am God. And today, Jesus, yes. the celebration Continue. This ride to connect cultures through food and entertainment is poised to take place regularly so people, especially the younger generations, can soak into the beauty of culture and uphold its core values so it won't fade away with time. Nice moves. Art House gets even more interesting, so you won't want to miss the show next time. Coming up on the next edition of the program. Artists gather at the My Dream Gallery to enjoy the rain of color and chisel contours by the Society of Nigerian Artists. Still in Lagos, we see a show celebrating ancient and contemporary female stories in African culture at Alliance Francaise. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Yes, we have a lot lined up for your viewing pleasure, so be sure to tune in and keep interacting with us on our various social media platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Keep the creative spirit alive.